say that you're busy, but it's okay. Shit, you really think you're pushing me away. Hey guys! I'm Eileen and I'm Maureen. Welcome back to our channel. We are back with another DIY top video. For this video, we are going to share with you on how we made this deep v-neck halter top and this cropped halter top. This is a great way to make a little something to wear in the summer. It's fairly easy, though it does require basic sewing skills. And it's also cheap and quick to make, especially this top that I'm wearing. You don't have to spend a lot of money for a top when you can simply make it yourself, right? But before we start the tutorial, we just want to thank Art Gallery Zen for sending us these beautiful jewelries. They emailed us through my email and they were so generous to send us 4 pieces of their products to show on our socials. Their jewelry has a really elegant and aesthetic vibe to them which we are really into right now. If you didn't know, Art Gallery Zen is a jewelry product provider online shop. They are one of the best sellers on Etsy, offering a wide range of fashionable jewelry and jewelry accessories for women. They have collections of earrings, necklaces, chokers, bracelets, anklets, rings, and etc. Almost every type of jewelry we are looking for these days can be found here. Plus, they have high-end appearance. So if you guys want to buy any of these pieces, we do have a discount code. It is WeWorkWins25 for 25% off your entire purchase. So we received two necklaces and one set of rings and then a pair of earrings. So the first necklace is this one. We got ours in gold, but they have other few colors on their website. It has these pearl chains on one side and rollo chains on the other side, which makes it more eye-catching. It also has this round disc pendant here in the middle. It has a nice weight to it and it's not too heavy when worn. It has this unique appearance and it gives us that baroque style vibes. The other necklace that we got is this one. It is in a color gold as well. It is a layered necklace with a pearl pendant and it also has this toggle clasp here and it comes with a Figaro chain choker. These pieces are especially great for wearing over your night out outfits and you can also wear them with your deep v neck tops and crop tops to show off the layered chain's creativity and originality. This would look great with our deep v neck DIY top later on. So the next piece that we got is this Bohemian 3 pieces ring set. Let me show you first. We love how big and bold these rings are and they look so cute when worn. Yeah, so beautiful. The different styles and designs of this set is just so perfect. They look very chic and stylish. These type of rings are meant to be noticed, flaunted, and admired. They are really great for giving a statement to your style. The last piece that we got is these earrings. They did not have a gold color available, so we got it in silver instead. We really love the structure of these earrings. It has this sparkling detail over here, and it looks so unique and sleek, giving us that geometric modern vibes. So if you guys want to buy any of these pieces, we'll just put the link of their website in the description box below. And don't forget to use our discount code, it is twins 25 for 25% off your entire purchase. You can buy one for your mom, significant other, friend, or sister. So definitely check out their website because they have a ton of unique and elegant designs. So without further ado, let's go and start the tutorial. What you need to pull off this top is a pair of scissors, marker, tape measurement, and of course, a fabric. So to begin, measure your desired width for your top, like from your chest area to your belly button. Our measurement was about 28 centimeters. And also, measure your bust by putting your measuring tape around your chest area. Our measurement was about 79 centimeters, and just add one half inch each for the seam allowance. We made it longer so the top won't be that revealing. The name of this fabric that we are using is spandex. All you have to do now is move all the measurements to your fabric and label them with any marker you have. 
Just simply cut out the fabric, which should now be a long rectangular piece of fabric. We are now going to hem the edges, where the edge of the cloth is folded and sewn to prevent unraveling of the fabric. And just holding them in place using any pin. And sew all the way down to the bottom using a stretch stitch on both sides. And this is how it would look like. The next step is to make a tunnel in both sides so the string can go through later. Now it's time to make the drawstring, measure for about 1 inch and 50 inches long. The one of seam allowance is already included. Fold the raw edges towards the center fold and fold again in half lengthwise. And of course you need to press and pin the fabric so it stays everything in place. And it's now ready to sew. And you already have your string! Now what we're going to do with the drawstring is like this. First, place a safety pin on one end and fit it through inside the tunnel-like opening until you reach in the other side. So when you pull the ends, it will cinch up the fabric and it can then be tied up. And now we are done! For this step, you will need a pair of scissors, marker, tape measurement, and of course, any cloth you want. By the way guys, this step is inspired by Transformations by Tracy. It was super cute so we thought of remaking it. This is the pattern used for the top. Feel free to adjust the shapes and measurements accordingly. After you're done making your pattern, we will then do this technique called slush and spread method. Simply, we just need to cut the pattern at the center line but don't go all the way through the paper. Instead, stop at the seam allowance. On the other line, cut right next to it, leaving a tiny bit attached. Just to make sure it remains in place. Basically, you just cut out the center of the pattern piece and then spreading it apart to add fullness. For around 6 and a half inch. Tape the pattern down to remain in place. And now, connect the pattern and just cut the excess. We are just pinning the pattern to the fabric so that it stays in place. And then just cut out two of it. Now, hem the edges of the cups and just pin it so it won't move around while sewing. And also, do a top stitch on the bottom edge of the cup. And you should have something like this. Take the cup and mark where your underbust meets the hem. Ours is 2 inches and a half above the hem, so we are only following the curve of the hem below to mark it. And now we've measured the line and found it to be 10 inches long. In this part, we'll make the tunnel-like opening for the drawstring. 
transfer the 10 inch measurement into the fabric and a width of about 2 inches. One for each cup, so we will need two of them. Don't forget to top stitch to give it a cleaner appearance. And when you're done, just place it across the underbust line we marked earlier. And pin everything down and start sewing. For the drawstring, we need two separate straps. Two straps for the halter which measures 21 inches each and two straps for the underbust which measures 54 inches in total and a width of one and a half inch. Next, attach the two underbust straps together at a 90 degree angle like this and then sew these pieces diagonally together using the sewing machine. For the string, follow the same steps as we did for the first top. When you're finished, you'll have a long piece of string like this. Now, we'll loop the strap point of the cup over the ring. The ring is just optional. You can do it without the ring if you don't have any. And just sew along the area. And when you're done, grab your drawstring, loop it around the ring, and then top stitch it in place. Place a safety pin at one end of your underbust drawstring and feed it through one of the cups. Feeding it towards the center front of the top so you can tie it at the front. And now we're done! So that is the end of our video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. So I guess we will see you on our next one. Bye! Bye.